But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living, but for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king, and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Greetings everybody, my name is Carl, I'm from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim in Norway. Welcome to week two of the year, it's the 11th of January 2021. We, uh, on the, well, this past weekend, we put out the first teaching uh, uh, for the book of Daniel. And uh, in way of review, um, we looked, there, there were two divisions to, the, to, the, to the, the lesson. We looked at reasons for why we're studying the book of Daniel. And uh, just one of the reasons was that, you know, Paul tells us to rightly divide the word of truth. When we do that, we, we get to see that there's a difference between the prophetic program and the mystery program. There's a distinction between the two. Knowing this and going into the book of Daniel, we understand that Daniel is a part of the prophetic program. So we, we looked at a few more points after that. And in the second main uh, point in the outline of the message was uh, we looked at how Jesus viewed Daniel. Now, Jesus viewed Daniel as a prophet. Now, if you go to the scholars, etc., etc., they're going to tell you something a little bit different. So uh, we went, we, we compared verse with verse. We saw what the Lord Jesus Christ had to say. Uh, what's it? Matthew 24 and Mark 13. Matthew 24, verse 15. I'm trying to remember them. Uh, Mark 13, verse 14. Uh, there's also in Ezekiel 14, 14, and I think there's one other place. But we saw enough scripture to, to know that Daniel was a prophet. We also um, we, we, we saw that Daniel was a, 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 hist a real historical figure. He wasn't just some uh, mystical individual from, from, from that time ago. He was a real character, and he lived in the time of uh, Nebuchadnezzar. So we looked at that, and uh, you know, and 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 Daniel was uh, being a prophet. He looked out, and he he tells of the times of the Gentiles, you know, Israel going into captivity, um, the transfer of power uh, from Israel over to the Gentile nations, and then finally out to Israel's restoration. So we covered all of that ground. Uh, if you haven't listened to the message, it's up on the YouTube channel. Give it a give it a listen if you have the time and if you have the willing heart to do that. So, uh, let's carry on with the read today. We've just uh, looked at chapter 2, verse 30. So, we'll carry on from verse 31. Uh, we're in chapter 2. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. You know, he wants uh, his astrologers and magicians and the Chaldeans to tell him what it was all about. No one can do it. Uh, he So, he... This is in Carl Coates's version. He wants to. He wants to get all those guys. They're going to be um, executed, and uh, Daniel comes to, if I can say, to the rescue. Now, please, don't take my version. You have got to take what the what our what the what the Word of God says. I'm just giving you the the shortened version. Anyway, so now we're in that part where uh, Daniel comes along. So, verse thirty-one. Thou, okay. Now, this is a very important section. Um, this, 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 this is the real. This is a juicy part. This is great. Thou, O King, sawest and behold a great image. Th this great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. When he says terrible, he, what um, it, it was stunning. Okay, uh, this image, image's head was of fine gold. His breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass. Just flipping the page, verse thirty-three. Um, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut uh, out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and brake them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken into pieces together, and became like like the chaff of the summer threshing floors, and the and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them, and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Folks, that there is a very, very important passage of scripture. We will study that out in the oncoming weeks when we look during the, the Daniel lessons. But uh, if you look at the image that's on the screen there, now you've got visual of it. 
have a good day. We'll connect again same time tomorrow. And uh, till, till then, Maranatha.